Nine at six, when the doctor says they're taking your vitals, they're typically talking about your blood pressure, heart rate, or your body temperature. But some East Texas doctors predict another factor will soon become a mainstay in wellness checks. As KLTV7's Lauren Tier reports, the medical field is taking steps toward using walking as a vital sign. It's a hugely undertapped, I think, resource that we can use to get a much more broad approach to patients' overall health. Dr. Alex Jacobson is one medical professional who's a proponent of the advancements in what is known as gait analysis. In broad terms, gait is essentially how we move, how we move our body in space to get from point A to point B. And while he says it can be a complex assessment, it can also be fairly straightforward, even in the clinical space, just watching how someone stands, how they move, how they walk, how they get around. Um, it can give you a lot of information in a pretty short amount of time. If that physician has the proper training to understand what they're seeing. Um, my walk is going to be 2.46 miles per hour to 4.07. That's, I'm so tall. Part of so the assessment really could include tracking pace or velocity, which can be an especially important factor for the geriatric population. We know from some fairly large, well-controlled studies that walking speed in that population is a pretty good predictor of mortality, general health and wellness, hospitalization rate, future fall and fracture risk. For Bonnie Avonrude, daily walks are essential to her overall well-being. She's the vice president of East Texas Trekkers, a local walking club, but is also an ER nurse who says many of her patients would benefit from getting their steps in. I have seen people who are um, in cardiac rehab with their provider out on the trail, and some of them even have walkers. Lauren Tier, KLTV 7 News. Dr. Jacobson says his hope is for even the most basic form of gait analysis to become a mainstream assessment for any patient from any walk of life.